Better? It's been recording. You've been recording it, man. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? You didn't have to yell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't even know how to start this one off. Woo! I hope you're all staying safe out there. You have the proper protective equipment. If you haven't got a Shemag, at least get one of those. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm being too silly. Woo! <laughs> uh, I don't know. You like my unicorn going on? You no, you're. It's like so tight. Funny, right? If you haven't gotten one of these, get one. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> but seriously. Uh, this was actually Battlebox last year, wasn't it? Or is it two years ago? I got it as a gift, so I'm thinking two years ago. If you haven't gotten a standard NATO gas mask for your family, go ahead and do so. They are fantastic. You never know when you're going to need one. And a riot. You've got something outside that's just not good for you, and you need a clean way to live and breathe. <clears throat> it's nice to have. I just thought I'd bust it out because this show is all about preparedness. And uh, I want you guys to be prepared. I really do. So anyway, about preparedness. Um, you know, stay safe out there. I know it's COVID-19. It's scary. And we're about a month into this whole lockdown. But there's no reason that you guys can't be safe. And uh, I hope that next year or the year after that or the next pandemic or whatever it is you guys have what you need so that it's uh, not an issue uh, if you guys stay tuned to the end of the video I'm going to teach you how to wear one of these as a protective face uh, mask and uh, it's a fairly quick tutorial and it's really good uh, for those of you who have one how to properly wear it uh, it's really really simple but I'd be happy to show you so uh, without further ado we're going to get into the Brand new battle box we got here in April. Uh, it's now April 10th, and uh, it just showed up on the door today. So I'm super excited to get into it. Now I know I know Brandon Curran does these uh, in-depth breaking down the battle box um, episodes on his YouTube channel over at Battle Box, and uh, I, I I do my best to avoid those, not because I don't want to see what's in it. I'm dying to see what's in it. But I don't want to see what's in it before it comes here because I want to be genuine and surprised. Uh, without further ado, let's get to it. I've said that like three times. <laughs> uh, right now I'm using the nuke knife I got also with the battle box that had that gas mask in it. And uh, it's fun because it's glow in the dark. I thought it would be a fun thing. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Freaking out the tape. Tape on the sides. What's in the box? It's so big. <gasps> Ooh. Right off the bat, I think I just got a new lunch box. And all sorts of stuff. Mission 62. Nice. <laughs> so we got a Coleman lunch box. Ice box. There's good stuff in this one, I can tell. Uh, yeah, it's a nice Coleman. It's got a little window on top. You can just grab your drinks right up top there or whatever can fit. This is a battle box within a battle box. <laughs> nice. What else we got? Oh, Blade Revolution. Ooh. Tradition is we open those last. That's nice. It's got a nice little 
cooler in there. It's got handles on the sides. I like that. It's got a little bottle opener on the top, or front rather. Looks like. Oh, cool. So it collapses over the top so you can zip it down here. Gives it a little more structure. How's the zipper work? It's Coleman, I assume. It's pretty good. These guys are the pros in camping gear, right? It's got a couple side po pockets. Does it say pouches? They're not really pouches, they're just pockets. You know, a couple handles. I love the shoulder pad. That's nice. It's really nice. What do, what do I think what? I assume we're going camping. No. It's a 24 can, 42 hour cooler. Oh, we're going drinking. Get the beer. And got, or non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> we got root beer. Beer of root. Let's go. I like it. Pretty thick padding. It's like an inch thick. So you, you, you can... You can keep your stuff cool for a long, long time. What, what did you say it was? 20? 24 can. 24 42 can, hour 42 hour cooling. That's pretty awesome. I like it. I even like the color. So, what else did we get? <laughs> In our other battle box. <laughs> a surprise within a surprise within a surprise. Packaging. Looks like we got some... Campfire Medium Roast Coffee from Bushcraft Coffee Company. Ridiculously smooth with notes of almond, hints of cinnamon, and a lingering finish. Ground. Coffee ground. So, medium roast, which is nice. Everybody likes medium roast. Not too light, not too dark. Gets you awake when you need to be. So that's cool. You can visit www.bushcraftcoffee.com to check them out. We love our coffee around here. <laughs> so, it'll be fun to try that one out, see how it compares to everything else we got in the pantry. So much good stuff. Let's see, we got bug bite thing. <laughs> it's the thing thingy for bug bites. No, it really says thing, but bug bite thing. No cream, no chemicals, kid friendly, reusable, compact, and lightweight. It is an insect bite sting suction tool. Has a reversible cap uh, to reveal a smaller section of suction that can be used on places like fingers and toes. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, usually you gotta slap it, you know, make try to get the itch away. I guess this is a different way of doing it. I mean, I get attacked by mosquitoes pretty harshly every time we go somewhere so I'd, I'd be willing to try that out next time I get that happening. Let's see we got ourselves a Pro Camp Tech fat rope stick. It's non-toxic cut what you need save the rest for later no evaporation fat rope stick maintains performance even partially used. It's a very nice weatherproof fire starting tinder. Cool. It's open on both ends so I'm assuming you can just Push it out, assuming you don't have girly fingers like me. Just cut off what you need. Awesome. Yeah. Let's put that to the test. <laughs> I might just ditch the packaging <laughs> and have it uh, maybe in a Ziploc bag or something, but we'll see. So that's pretty cool, and it's about six inches of total length, about a dollar bill in size, and I'd say it's about one inch in diameter. So you've got quite a bit of tinder. Watch my channel. Do it. Subscribe. Like it. Like this video. Do it. Like it. Like it now. We've got some nice coupons and stuff for the coffee and for the uh, the bug bite thing and then we have little Lord and Field Outfitters I have to use my knife to open this I'm sure for sure whatever's in here I could have easily 
use to open it, but... <laughs> Paper packaging. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, we're going camping. We got ourselves a spoon and I'm assuming our fork. Yep, with a bottle opener, of course. And the knife. Ooh, that is sharp. That is very, very nice. You got your little camp cooking utensil. It's got the standard uh, wood with brass on there, and it's got that very nice uh, buffalo from the Lord and Field uh, logo. Sorry, I thought it might have been on the packaging. It is not. Yeah, but that that is awesome. It's kind of cool that they got it on this little. I'm at a loss for words today. <laughs> I love it though. The spoon has to be on the outside, obviously, but it also acts as a belt clip, I suppose. <laughs> That's genius. What a way to keep this in your pocket. That's fantastic. I really, really like this. Very nice craftsmanship. Oh, wait a second. It breaks apart. It is magnetic? And it breaks away, so you've got your individual utensils. Oh, it's not magnetic, it just um, slides. It is magnetic. It is. It is, it is magnetic. Uh, they slide together with the pin, like the pin from the wood there, also comes out through the middle. And then it has these tongue and groove. In between where it just slides in and locks into place that is so cool Wow <laughs> I'm glad we discovered that it's so cool Wow okay so taking something that is seemingly the same as everything else you've seen and turning it into something completely new that is crazy cool I, I love this company. This company comes up with the coolest stuff. So there you go. You've got a three-piece dining set on uh, silverware and uh, it can combine into one just like that. That's really, really awesome. A lot of thought went into that. That's pretty cool. So uh, let's get into the other fun stuff. That was cool. Did you expect that? I didn't expect that at all. No, you didn't? Cool. So we've got ourselves another more knife blade here with a really nice um, sheath. Looks like we get a lot going on with this one. So if you remember, more knife is that uh, Swedish blade company. Uh, they, I forget what they gave us last year but it was it was really really nice um, looks like they've still got the same kind of sheath but this time we get a knife with a fire starter in it a companion spark is what they call it so I'm gonna go ahead and bust this open it looks like it's got a little pair reflective paracord Ooh. it's got like a reddish brown color on it get into it. You'd much rather see it than have me describe it to you, right? So, just making sure I didn't drop anything. Yeah, made in Sweden. I really like the plastic sheath that they get these in. F fits so nicely. It's got a very nice belt clip on there. The blade itself very sharp, a very nice profile, really like that. It's a good camp knife. I don't see any paracord. Looks like the Fire Striker actually 
locks in, but can twist and pull out. It's got this little window here and through both sides, or see at least see the fire striker. Yeah, I really like that. I don't see it. It's, it's, a, it's inside, I think, the sheet. It was not, but I could see. It is. I saw it briefly. So, assuming I didn't damage it, it does have a reflective paracord. Oh, got a light or something we can show that shine on this. I don't see my work light. Whoa! All right, is it reflective? It's white. <laughs> Blindingly white. Hang on. <laughs> so apparently it's super reflective. Obviously, where I'm sitting, it's not terribly reflective. But I'm sure that if it was pitch dark and I shine a light on it, I could see it quite well. I'm certain that here in the back you can just throw that in there. You can definitely see it. Yeah. You can definitely see that. So that's pretty cool. I like that it's got the reflective paracord. It's really small, but that's perfectly fine and uh, holds your your fire strike pretty good. Again, the blade the blade is super nice. I like the the grip is a sort of rubber texture with a plastic hilt uh, finger guard rather. Uh, the fire striker's back end is also plastic, but not a bad deal. And I, I love that it locks into place. It's got a place for your pinky there. Yeah, it's got a very nice ergonomic grip. It is a stainless steel blade, but it's a rough blade, so it's not extra shiny. It does have, obviously, a stainless steel blade, but you can feel the grain on the back end here. And the blade itself is quite lo rough looking. It is sharp, it is very sharp. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. And last but not least, we have another really cool looking knife from uh, Revolt Knives, designed by Mike Vellenkamp. This one harkens back to our shooter box from a year or two ago where I called it the rhinoceros knife this is a very much the same kind of look and feel to it uh, it's, wow what is that that's almost like a rubber grip I can't tell what color that is very it's nice. green, like. it is cool. it's almost like an olive Sliding ultimate walking very nice Apparently, you can slide the blade back to be more of a utility knife, like an ulu knife almost. Oh, there's a there's a button in the back here. Push that in and releases the blade. Pull it back out all the way, and it should be secure. Wow, that is a cool freaking knife. Outstanding. So it's got the uh, blade locker here for the folder, as well as if you hold it in and push straight back, the blade will slide in just like so until it clicks. This button, should you should feel that engage, and it'll no longer move until you press the button Pull it straight out, all the way till it locks, of course. And then push that aside, and you've got yourself your folder back. Cool. <laughs> awesome stainless steel belt clip. Uh, I really like the grip. The grip is very just fun to hold. Hold on to the blade is beautiful. Just 
stunningly beautiful. Yeah. Good job. I guess I'm getting used to it, but once you figure it out, you'll get every you'll get it every time. Be sure to watch our video for proper use on how to open, close, and slide the blade. <laughs> I just like playing with stuff until I figured and it out. It says I probably wouldn't suggest handing this over to someone very young or unfamiliar with knives. It, is, it does feel like a more advanced knife. This is a, a specialized tool for sure. I I love the curvature of the blade too. Just like an Ulu knife has that curve, you've done a wonderful job. I really, really like your blade. Good job, sir. But yeah, that is wicked cool. Wicked cool. Very awesome. Yeah. So. I mean, it's very sharp. Be careful with this. Really cool. Very nice, uh, very nice feel. I really like the uh, grip, the grip you get on that. It's got these nice uh, thumb grips here and a sort of finger profile grooved in there. A little bit of texture in the back, but it's all smooth up front. Super cool. Click. Ready for business. Again, that is the Revolt Knives Blade, inspired by Mike Bellingham. Really cool. Wow, what a lineup. And cleanup time. Do so, this is a nice awesome i mean just really really cool um uh, sort of camping themed battle box i guess you can't really sometimes they don't feel themed but they've got a general vibe going on i don't, I don't even know what the mission is it's 62 but they're, they're not even labeling the missions anymore so which i miss we cut we yeah we kind of like that we kind of like that when they labeled it it kind of gave you a, a direction to go with the stuff you got but you know it's nice to be left up to your own devices um i'm probably going to be using this coleman for general lunch and um packing stuff to and from with the kids on soccer games and whatnot so it'll be it'll be really handy around with the family i love that you get the pull tab on top so you can just grab and go that's awesome. This coffee from Bushcraft looks really good. I, I'm super excited to try it out. It is a medium roast, which most most of what you get consumer-wise is a medium roast. Light roast and dark roast are a little more specialty, but these should be a very nice uh, should be a nice cup of coffee right there. So we'll we'll give that a review probably in the next week or two. Uh, super excited about having <laughs> this separating knife, fork, and spoon combo. The spoon acting as a belt clip if you need to from Lord and Field. Uh, it's a very nice finish on all this stuff and it's uh, just cool how it separates. It's magnetic and it slide locks into itself. Uh, so a surprise there. Uh, the Mora knife with the reflective um, paracord is just awesome. That Swedish steel is always fun to play with with the fire starter. Okay. So instead of treating your bug bite with uh, ointment or something, you can just use this thing. It's sort of like a suction cup deal. So that's pretty cool. I like that we got this nice uh, rope uh, fire starter here. We got the uh, uh, tender in a tube basically. <laughs> Just cut a piece of rope off there and you'll be all right uh, getting your fire started. It's weather resistant. We're going to put that to the test for sure. So anyway, we ended up with this really cool Sulu knife. It is again the sliding ultimate locking utility knife. Uh, it's apparently got instructions, which... If I had read, I would have figured it out faster, but uh, it's cool. It's fine. We we got there in the end, uh, actually quite quickly on our own. So that worked out really nicely. Love the grip on that. I really like the color. A stainless finish. I like the polished finish. Now the Mora knife is a lot less um, polished than this, which is good because it's a utility knife and that's, that's basically um, going to be 
beaten and abused. But this one, it's just it's just nice when you have that polished finish. It just looks better. Um, and I'm, what I'm impressed by is this is a brand new knife company apparently. This Revolt Knives. So it's it's going to be fun to throw it up against some of the other more established knife companies that we've gotten and uh, see how it comes out. I'm impressed with the design for sure. Super excited to put that one to the test. So anyway, we got a great battle box, Mission 62, and uh, thanks for joining us this far. If you stick around for a couple more minutes, I'm going to show you how to apply a shamog so that you can walk around with a face mask and look cool. If you haven't already, make sure that you like this channel, subscribe so you don't miss the next one, and click that notification bell. That will guarantee you're not going to miss anything. This is a shamog. Shamog. <laughs> so essentially what you got here is basically just a cloth square. Uh, it's fairly thick, nice, durable, stretchy material. Um, when it gets washed, oftentimes it has this sort of quality where it's, it's a little wrinkled and it stretches pretty good. But if you've worn it a few times, this one's been worn in Iraq. Uh, we wear these a lot in Iraq and Afghanistan to keep us hot in the winter and cold in the summer. You know, you put water on it and keep cool. It's a very nice garment. It helps hide your face, protects you from the sun, the elements dirt, whatever, and when people are coughing in your face. Since we're kind of going through a thing right now in the United States and the world over, really, um, I just thought it'd be cool to show you guys how to properly wear one of these. Uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, first things first is you, you turn it into a big triangle. It's just one fold. And then you got your triangle. You can you can space it out a little bit so you got extra material there. It's not perfectly centered. I know that's an OCD no-no, but um, even I have gotten over that because, frankly, the more material you have surrounding your face and everything, the better. Uh, having it overlap like this also gives you an extra layer of filter protection. This is not an official filter, so don't go thinking this is going to save your life in every situation. It's just a good temporary fix. So the very first thing you want to do is kind of hold it over your head like so. You're going to put it about 70% on this side, 30% on this side. You're going to drape it so it's on your forehead. Just, just about. Let me make sure I got it. <laughs> It's been a while since I've done this. So then uh, what you want to do is kind of take the corner up here by your eyeball, eyeball, eyeball and uh, pull the rest through across your face. Reach under and grab this here, just like so. Make sure that you can see, obviously. And then uh, you should have the main bit right under your chin. And you pull it back around the other side you're going to tie these two ends together if you can. I don't like to because you're, you're basically just going to have it draped over your face. What you want to do is pull the top over and pull the bottom up over your nose. Boom! You have a nice face mask. You can pull it back down on your neck. You know, it's very comfortable to wear. Throughout the day you can pull it down, pull it up. Pull it as comfortable. If the wind's picking up, there's rain and snow, you can have it cover your face, whatever. Whatever you need. It's also a great place to hang your hands. <laughs> Nothing beats an N95 mask. They're specifically designed to filter particles as you're breathing. Um, but if you're out there hoarding these things, please consider donating to the people who are actually fighting this disease. Maybe the ones who are in the medical field or the firefighters out there serving people in the field. Um, so just be safe out there. Not everything works, but at least you have some tools to get you by. So from our house to yours, God bless and take care. I challenge you to subscribe to this channel. I guarantee you're gonna like the content we put out. If you'd like